Hello again everyone, today on Gospel and Spade we are going to take a look at the Hagab seal which is dated to the 7th century BC. This small black stone seal was uncovered during salvage excavations that were undertaken prior to the building of a new police station in the northwestern part of the Western Wall Plaza in Jerusalem. The seal has been dated to about the reigns of either King Manasseh or King Josiah of Judah in the 7th century BC. Associated finds, like jar handles with royal impressions found upon them, and other personal seals, suggest that the area was of governmental importance during the 7th century BC. The seal itself depicts an archer shooting a bow, which is very similar to the depictions of Assyrian archers found elsewhere, for example on the Lachish reliefs. It is thought that this Hebrew seal deliberately used the same style as that used by the Assyrians. It is possible that the Jewish man who owned the seal was a high-ranking military officer in the Kingdom of Judah, based on the seal's decoration. The short Hebrew inscription on the seal reads, Belonging to Hagab. In relation to the Bible, the name Hagab is found recorded only once, in Ezra chapter 2 verse 46, as the name of the patriarch of a Jewish family that returned from Babylon after the Babylonian exile ended in circa 539 BC. Whether the seal found in Jerusalem belonged to the Hagab mentioned in the Bible is unclear, though it is a possibility given the apparent rarity of the Hebrew name. Also, Given the seeming importance of the Hagab who owned the seal, it would not be unreasonable to conclude that the same individual would have been a relatively well-known patriarch of a Jewish family by the time that the book of Ezra was written. At the very least, this find does show that the name Hagab was in use well before both the Babylonian captivity ended and the book of Ezra was written. This helps to show the historical authenticity of the names that have been found recorded in the Old Testament book of Ezra. Once again, thank you for watching. As always, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more new content every Friday.